Yo, what's good, man? It's your favorite stoner, D Wild, coming back at you with another episode of Learn and Burn. A beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning, man. Tomorrow is 420. As always, man, we got to thank the man upstairs for allowing us to see another day. Somebody did not wake up the, uh, this morning, so if he gave you another 24, man, go do something with it. I'm in the middle of my wake and bake, as always. I got my homie with me, as always. You feel me? And today, I'm coming to all my independent artists, man, and we're going to be talking about handling yourself like a professional. And I'm going to give you some tips and some do's and some do nots, you feel me, of handling yourself like a professional. Because believe it or not, um, everything you post, you know, people see it. Whether you, th- it could be the smallest thing and you think, you know, nobody's going to notice or it ain't going to matter right now because I'm not that big. But people remember shit and people do notice. This is social media where you anybody can screenshot your shit and send it to anybody or, you know, whatever, man. So... You got to handle yourself like a professional, especially if you're trying to build your brand, if you're trying to build your empire. You can't be out here looking goofy just, you know, on social media all the time. So before I get started, man, I'm on some OG this morning. You know, 420 is tomorrow, so I know I'm going to go get me something special today. I'm going to go get me some edibles. I'm going to might go get me, a, a, you know, some new trinkets or whatever. But... I hope you find up that gas wherever you are, man. Salute to all my people out there trying to make it happen, man. Just, you know, working hard every day, getting one step closer to their dreams, man. I want to salute all y'all, man. So going into it. Oh, if you haven't done so, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe if you new. Um, as always, I'm not no YouTuber. I'm just taking a little time out of my day to, you know, kick free game back to you on your lunch break, on your bathroom break, you know, on your way to work, on your way to the stove, whatever, man. I'm just trying to take a little time out to pay it forward. So moving forward, right? Handling yourself like a professional. And this is number one, just because it was so recent to me that I just, I, I, I really don't know how, um, people still do this. In 2018, it's, it's just crazy. You cannot, as an independent artist, do not hit up another artist, right? And say, let's work. And then ask them, do they have a song that you can get on? That's the most unprofessional shit you can do. And it just happened to me like a day ago. And it, it, it's just really like, just think like how does it sound like hey i'm we don't have no relationship you know i ain't never talked to you you've never spoken to me or whatever i'm just reaching out and just hey let's work first off that's not really the first message i want to get from you you know we ain't built no relationship fam i don't know you from a can of paint you feel me it got to be more than a hey let's work i appreciate that you just didn't just drop a link on a nigga but it's got to be more than hey let's work and Hey, let's work. I'm assuming that means you want a feature from me. Like, y'all let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But if I come to you and say, hey, fam, let's work. If you're a producer, that that should mean I want to hop on some of your beats, right? Like, that shouldn't mean, hey, I got these beats I want, you know, you to hear. And you tell me what you think. Or, you know, you can add something to my beat so we could collab on a beat. No. If I hit a producer up and say, let's work. That mean I want to cop some beats, I want to hear some snippets, or you know, I want to start shopping around. And it's the same way for artists, rappers, singers. If I hit up another rapper and say, hey fam, let's work, for, I'm automatically like, yo fam, I'm trying to get you on a song. And that leads me into the next uh, bullet point in this little professional presentation here. Have a budget, first off, before you do anything. You it is so unprofessional for you not to have a budget, like, just for a feature. You reach out for a feature, right? And let's just say you run up on, you know, Joe Blow, who just nice as hell, and, like, you hit him, like, yo, let's work. And he, like, bet. Or whatever. Just, you know, not, I guess he, you know, trying to get on, too, or whatever. So he's, like, bet. And then, you know, let's just say he does 
the guy who's reaching out for a feature or whatever um, does it the right way and be like, well, hey, I got a song or whatever that uh, I want you to get on. If he send you back a feature price, don't get an attitude and get mad. Like it be too too often. And I don't want to say independent artists because they don't even be independent artists. It be local ass rappers that ain't going nowhere. This you hit them with a they hit you like hey let's work and then you hit them hit them with your feature price and they're like oh man fuck you who you think you is I ain't gonna pay that shit for that like nigga you asked me to work like this is work I, I got a family I got bills like nigga got kids bro like you said let's work let's really work but you scared to put the bag up for what. Like I, I just don't understand how how some people think, but it's it's not professional, bro. Like I'm damn, I'm spinning like a motherfucker. It's not professional at all to not have a budget, bro. Like come on, with anything, you can't hit up a producer and say, "Hey, let's work," and then you know he send you his uh beat store, and you like some beats, and you like, yo, let me get you know X Y Z. And he tell you, all right, that's going to be so-and-so total if you want the lease or so-and-so if you want the exclusive. Oh, man, I ain't trying to pay that. I thought you, you ain't got no free beats. Like, I can't get them for free. I can't. Fam, what you think this is? Shit, don't run. Come on. You can't just go. McDonald's be want to charge a nigga for a water cup, bro. You ain't no free shit for real, for real in the world. Like, let's just. It's 2018. Let's call a spade a spade, my nigga. But moving forward, because this ain't no rant, man. I'm not mad. I'm not upset, man. It just, it pissed me off when I when artists don't know, like, it's, the, it's a music business for a reason. You can never, if you was trying to get a, a, a record deal with Kevin Lyles, you would never just DM Kevin Lyles and be like, hey, I got some heat, or just drop him a link, like, and think it's going to work that way. No, you're going to come with the proper presentation and the proper proof to show, hey, I'm going to be the best possible asset for you to acquire. So why would you not do it the same way just because you're on social media? I, I, You know, I just don't, I don't understand the correlation of, like, how people put a, it's, it's kind of the equivalent to a nigga sending a, a dick pic to a bitch, like, I'm going to just drop a SoundCloud link and 50 people DM. Or I'm going to just tag 100 people to a post. Or this, you know, this SoundCloud link or this YouTube link. It's the equivalent to a nigga just dropping a, a dick pic in a, a, in a bitch DM. Like, what that's going to do? That ain't going to make her just, oh my God, send me your address right now. I'm ready to fuck. Like, but yes, yeah, niggas still do it every day and think it's going to work. The same way with the fucking SoundCloud links or niggas just jumping in. And jumping in your DMs and don't have a budget. It's just all unprofessional. But getting to the last thing, the third thing that um really makes you look unprofessional on social media. You cannot um how do I say this nicely? You cannot respond to the negativity that comes uh across your page sometimes. Don't get me wrong, it's going to be some stuff you post Whether it's music related or unmusic related It's going to draw some flack And it's going to be some negativity Like everybody ain't going to show you love Like that's just the law of the land, you feel me Like, But don't respond to the negativity Why? Because when you respond to the negativity First off, you overlooking all the positive Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't just negative comments or whatever I'm pretty sure you got some positive shit in there. So, first off, you should be focusing on the positive instead of the negative. But secondly, you shouldn't respond to the negativity because you're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. For what? What are you responding for? What are you defending? You don't have to prove a point to somebody who already clearly don't, you know, he clearly disagree with you, he or she. Don't waste your time trying to explain, you know, or trying to get them on your side. Like, and if it's it's just simple, just, you know, outlandish negativity, it's nothing to block them and you don't have to see it no more. I doubt they make a whole nother profile just to come back at you on some more negativity. If when you really you'll notice when you start to build your, your core fans and your following, when you don't even have to respond to the negativity, your fans are responding for you. Look at an artist like a 
or Beyonce. The beehive go crazy anytime somebody say, you can't say, oh, Beyonce don't look on point today. Like, and legit, she could be in sweatpants and t-shirt going into a Target. And her fans gonna come out like, how dare you? You see, you don't see those legs and she just had a baby. And oh my gosh, she looks amazing. And look at her, consider age. And this, like, you, when you got a, a good core fan base and, and good people rocking with you, they gonna defend you against that negativity. Just because they going for you so hard, bro. So, them my three tips, man, to help out with you being more professional. The do's and the don'ts, man. A lot of artists out there just... I understand your social media is your social media. And it, it's a reflection of yourself. But if you're trying to build a brand, if you're trying to build an empire, you got to think about that also. Think about everything you put on the internet. Like, in 10, 15 years, would you be proud of your kids seeing it? Or would you be able to explain it to your kids when they see it? Just something to think about, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so, man. I'm dropping free game. I'm telling you, you better, you know, pick up now while I'm cheaper than, you know, the lunch buffet. Because, hey, we moving, baby. But any questions, concerns, comments, complaints, drop them in the comments below, man. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm finna get my day started, man. I'm trying to find some breakfast. I don't know what I'm finna go get into. But, hey, man, that's my time. Y'all, it's all love. Until next time.